Hey everyone, welcome to the grand opening of the all new General RV in Fort Myers. Today we're going to take a look at 10 awesome motorhomes and we're going to have exclusive sale pricing for this weekend only here at the grand opening sale. Without further ado, let's hop into the first unit. And it's, this is not a 2024 Winnebago view. This is stock number 306060 Winnebago view. That is the only, the sale price you see down below, this is the only unit you'll be able to get it in. And it's only for this weekend only. Look at this beautiful motorhome. So first and foremost, this is a B plus, technically a class C motorhome that sits on the Mercedes chassis. You have this awesome fiberglass front, full body paint, and this has one of the most unique floor plans in the industries with the two twin bits in the rear. Coming on down, when you walk into this motorhome, you're gonna see it looks pretty nice. Well, get a nice paint around. Well, I try to find the lights in here. Okay. Where the heck, where's the rear lights? I don't know. So this sits on the Mercedes chassis. It has lane assist, adaptive cruise control. That's one of my favorite chassis to drive. Everything that you're gonna want is in here. No lights? There you go. Some, uh, some. I don't know where that backlight is, but come on back. You wanna start back there? Okay. Okay, we're starting back here. Well, this is what makes this floor plan unique. Twin bed, twin bed, storage all the way around. Very European. But, notice the cabinetry. Yeah, it's changed a little bit, huh? The cabinetry has definitely changed because the Winnebago vet view, Navion view, has always had that Euro-style yep. look. Now, you can fill that bed in as well to make one big bed, right? Hang on a second. Yes. Okay. Right here, you can see the platform here. There you go. Bada-bing. Bada-boom. Yes, sir. Right here, we got a nice fridge, induction cooktop. And gas. Yep. Nice sink right there. Greystone cooktop, insignia TV and everything. And then over here, oh man, we're playing the Macarena. First and foremost, hey Will, welcome Hi to guys. the show. Are you showing that? Yeah, go stand in the shower. Oh, okay. Me and Will, we're here working the grand openings. Sure. Just so everybody knows, you're watching this Wednesday night, which is today. Yep. And um, so that means tomorrow we will be in Orlando at Independence RV, a general RV company. And then Friday we'll be at Fort Pierce. Yes. How does it feel? Uh, it's pretty tight in here to be okay. honest. Okay. I mean, it's the class of RV. I, you know, it, it is what it is. Again, it's great if you're comparing this to a class B. Exactly. It sucks if you're comparing it to class Cs or- Pretty much you know. exactly what it is. Nice sink area and a toilet. Come on out, Will. Okay. Let's I do have to out. see if this is a prime pooping position. All right, there we go. I don't All think right. it's going to be. Oh, it is porcelain. porcelain. And it is very good, again, especially for a B-Van. But unfortunately, Will, you are correct. This is not a prime pooping position. Okay. Coming on down here. Look at this living room space. Love the seats right here. Theater seats? They look like they were supposed to be theater seats, but either they're missing it or it doesn't do that. Yeah. It does come with a little table. Again, the MSRP is $242,679, and this is a weekend exclusive price that you see on the screen. Nice bunk over the cab, and again, this awesome Mercedes chassis. Guys, stick around. We have 10 units that we're showing you here at the Fort Myers store. We're going to give you the address and introduce you guys to the GM after the next towable unit that we're going to show you. Next up is the biggest, smallest camper I've ever seen. It's the Clipper 12.0 Pro. Again, stock number 302647. The sale price you see is this unit here only. Do want to let everybody know, we will have a food truck all weekend here at the Fort Myers grand opening. Well, let's check this bad boy out. Okay. Let me, let me tell you. Look at this. I've never loved a unit and hated a unit so much. Right, in my life. it's so simple, but. Well, I would never buy this for RV, but. Here's the customer who buys this, in my opinion. The person that they have a son or or daughter in Scouts. Yep. And they do tent camping. Right. Y'all can set up your little tent over there. I'm in the Clipper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Outdoor shower. You got a place for a TV. Nice, uh, 
big tire right there. Hello. Right over here, okay, you can see your little, oh, this has a shower. Yeah. And a cassette toilet, very interesting. Spare tire right here. Extend and retract. It must be a power lift. I was gonna say, it's not for an awning. Right. Dude, look at how cool this is. Does it actually have a shower or just a toilet? Um, oh, it's a full shower. Yeah. I mean, not a full shower, but. Yeah, it is very cool. Uh, this MSRP is at twenty nine four nineteen. I guess this is the grand opening sale price, uh, twenty six four seventy seven. We'll double check, right? We, well, we'll have whatever the lowest price is. Okay. So Adam gives us an even more exclusive price for our customers. Okay. Uh, right there, we do have a nice little sink, microwave, refrigerator, a little desk area, guys. Right here, I'm standing in it. I'm five foot four. I joke, this is perfect for me. Right. You know what this is? What? I got somebody else who would buy this. If you guys had a nice diesel pusher, mm -hmm. and I wanted to travel the country with you guys, right. just like, hook this up. This is my little room. You're gonna hang out with us in the RV, yeah, but then- exactly. Dang, Nabbit, I missed done my shoe. Right here, we have an awesome queen size bed. Little bit of dresser drawers over here. Okay. And again, AC unit. Yes, and if you're somebody tall like Will, this is definitely not going to work. For right. You. But I love this, especially if you have kids and scouts in Florida. Does it? Know, oh, the sink's on the other side. Okay. Yeah, you need that AC unit. And I got oh, plenty yeah. of space here, Will. Very nice. Okay. All right, back up the step. I always feel like we're going to tilt. I know. Yeah, we were definitely lifting that thing. A little bit. Yep. Definitely. Very, very cool. Great, let's kick it over to Adam and figure out what the address is to this place. Welcome, Mr. Adam, how do we say your last name? Fremming. New character unlocked, <laughs> not new character unlocked. You might remember him. He was the general manager of the Charlotte dealership when we worked for our previous employer. And now he is the one who is going to be opening up the all new Salisbury location in North Carolina, the new General RV Supercenter but General had to have them ASAP. And so you're now liaison general manager, sales manager, whatever you want to call it, the title, yep. to the all new Fort Myers store. Super Center. Tell us everything that what's been going on. It's been phenomenal. We started from really nothing. Um, we're growing it into be the number one RV dealer in Florida. Um, we're going against the big dogs. So anything that gets brought to the table here in Fort Myers, we're taking it, brother. And Adam, you said that you're gonna be sharing sale prices with us this weekend only. This weekend only, we are doing Matt's RV special pricing. And again, I do wanna clarify, it's not on Winnebago 24 views. It's on stock number 30600, or whatever that stock number was, that exact one. If you guys wanna to come to Fort Myers, Go to 15565 South Tamiami Trail, Fort Myers, Florida, 33908, or call the store 239-228-4590. Will and I will be bringing you videos tomorrow from Orlando and the next day from Fort Pierce, but the grand opening sale, what the heck's going on? But I know the, you're here. I know, but the grand opening sale is all weekend long at Fort Myers. Adam, what do you want people to know who are thinking about buying an RV and thinking about making the trip down to Fort Myers? If there was literally ever a time that you're going to buy, I mean ever, you do it when you're opening up a store. Okay. We don't care about grosses. We don't care about anything. We care about market share. We care about capturing that sale, taking care of the customer at all costs. And that's a real thing. We just offered a lady $40,000 on her 2016 Heartland Bighorn. Dang. 40 grand. So and she for, left. For she's been. To, I know. Yeah. She's been to for six Bighorn. different dealerships, and we closed the deal down. That's how like excited we are to be here. We will not let anybody leave. Perfect. With that said, do you want to show us the travel trailer? Absolutely. Welcome to the Valor 44 V14. Yes, sir. Adam, how long have you been in the RV industry? 15 years. Holy smokes. Do you need to get that name tag? I know, I'm holding it 10. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're a toy hauler guy. Why do you like toy haulers so much? I like toy haulers because if you want to bring the family with you, Done. you got two king size beds. Yes. If you don't want to bring the family with you, you want to bring your side by side, you can bring it with you. If you guys decide, hey, we want to go to a national park and pull off on the side of the road, unload, you're self-contained in a toy hauler. You got your generator, you've got your satellite, 
You've got your wine guard for your oh. internet. It's fully self-contained. Now, I don't know what national parks you're bringing a 45-foot <laughs> toy hole, but we, but we get the message. True. And here's what I love. Uh, there's this campground by my house. I live in Lander Lakes, Florida, y'all. And uh, what's it called, Will? Winter Quarters? Pasco Winter Quarters. Pasco Winter Quarters. Will had a site, and it literally backed up to the water. If he had a toy hauler, legit, uh, the RV stopped here, the water was right here. We'd be able to fish off his back patio. You'd be standing over the water. You'd be standing over that, the water. Not only could you do it, you could leave these doors open. That AC can be on. Nice cool air blowing on you as you're fishing right. over the water. Show us some features about the Alliance. All right. So now, we, how do you like Alliance? Cause... Alliance is definitely one of my favorite brands. Okay, good. It's not only the product that they build, it's the support system that they have. Darren with Alliance, he's one of my reps that I use by far one of the best reps in the industry and all he cares about is the customer service side. So do you know Ryan and Coley Brady? Like, do you know them or no? Uh, Darren's really the, my main guy. See, that's what I'm saying. Will and I, we're, we're friends with the Brady brothers. Gotcha. And I feel like our opinion can become biased because we are friends with the owner and when the owner snaps, but he doesn't even know the owner and his just, and no disrespect, his regular support guy, Darren. Still, Still takes amazing care of him. He's going to be here this week. And nice. it's all about support to this his This weekend? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's coming to be here at the show, and he only wants to support customers, answer questions, and show his amazing product. Guys, that's this weekend only. You want to know what I love about the Valor Toy Haulers? These individual tie-downs. I absolutely love them. You got these tie-downs. You got a loft area. We have a uh, half bath right here, porcelain toilet. Unfortunately, this is not a prime pooping position. No, My leg's just a little close here, but it's definitely doable. It's definitely really close. Adam, show us the inside features. Absolutely, so we're gonna leave the 14 foot garage okay. that, that you can Sorry. come in. <clears throat> this is, if if we were ever to get a toy hauler, I always said this is the floor plan I would want. Thousand percent. Guys, what you gotta see here is you've got one, two, three, four, five recliners. So you can do this either way. You can get the bed with the two recliners or you can get five recliners. I actually think this is the bed with the two recliners. But that's a big issue when you oh, go okay. toy haulers, right? Yeah. You don't have a good living area. Right. If you look at this living area, you could have 10 adults in here mm. comfortably. Yeah. Two, four people at the table, five people here, one person in the kitchen or four people in the kitchen. But you can move around. One of the things that I love about all four, of Four in the kitchen. Two. Let's go with two. <laughs> it's a go. party when there's four. So tell us what, what were you saying? So I just love, when you look at the quality of an Alliance product, if you're going to look here, these are called screwed and glued. These are not stapled in. You guys look at these things. You can hang off these things on the wall. They're not going to just pop off. If you look at other competitors, you're going to see staples here, not screws, right? You're also going to see that this is solid wood. This isn't a laminate product that a lot of the other manufacturers right. use. And you look at the doors. They don't wiggle and wobble like all the other people do. Sure. Uh, another feature is you're going to get a fireplace, which is huge. Not every toy hauler gets a fireplace. That's awesome when the temperature's 60 outside. You don't necessarily want to fire up the furnace. Here's what's crazy: you have all that couch space, and you still have a dinette even at that. It's yes. Nice. Like in a, in, a, in a toy hauler with a 14 foot garage too. And, and you got you're comfortable. Look at the space. I mean, we can yeah. fit four people adults here comfortably, and that's amazing. And I'm not a big like dinette person, but you could easily convert that to a desk as well if you work from the road. 100. Flip it, and yep. then you could have two chairs there and yep. have a, an actual workspace. For sure. So if we continue to the kitchen, God. you guys are going to go to the residential refrigerator. These refrigerators cool in less than 45 minutes, which wow. is huge. Yep. You're talking about these refrigerators could be 100 degrees right. plus inside. So that's a massive cooling time when you're getting ready to hit the road. Oh yeah. Um, I don't think you'll ever see a pantry this large on any of the toy hauler products. Um, again, we're going to continue. Though? Do I know? They're not. I'll get them. Yeah. Now, this is oh. not showing the uh, special Matt's RV purchase price. No, this no, no. is what it would normally be. If you guys come this weekend, this is what it is. But if you see on the screen, Adam's getting you a better price. And again, that's this weekend only. Here's oh. what I can promise you. It's only on stock number 304962 is that price. Correct. Moving on quickly, you guys are gonna get the residential oven and the residential stove. You can actually put a massive turkey in here if you wanna do Thanksgiving. Turkey tested? Approved. Bing! <laughs> Very nice. Adam, right. hang on, we don't, we, we love your energy. Show that. Oh, show sorry. that. Yep. We're gonna go, Alliance utilizes 
buttons. They Talk utilize rocker switches. Why do they do that? It's reliable. It doesn't fail. If it fails, it's two wires you could touch together and get your slides in or your awnings in. You're not relying on a computer system that will fail eventually. Bro, be honest with me. Sw swear to God. Yep. Do you watch all of our episodes or no? No, I should. How? No, no, no. You're good. Oh. How many do you watch about? Be honest. Probably I've watched two a month depending on where you're at and what you're doing okay i think you're rounding up here's what i mean here's what i mean you're saying everything that we say we love the tangible buttons this is a real this is we're not steve campus. jobs yeah i use this yeah you know i just walked a momentum 376 thsr i'm demoing it with the customer the stupid pad would not turn on right i couldn't start the generator they don't even do a, a rocker generator switch it is a touch generator start on the momentum product, it's not talking bad about it. I no, love the design. of course. It's just if I'm gonna choose, this is always what I'm gonna choose. Absolutely. Um, so, anyways, super reliable rocker switches. Big fan. So that's something I look for. You need to slow the heck down because we need an expert right now. Will go stand in that shower. Okay. And then you yes. show us the bedroom. Yes, sir. Here's what I love that other manufacturers have been doing. It. I'm so glad Grand Design. I mean, Alliance is doing it now. It's a step down into the shower. So Dang. Look at the headspace in here and again this is a toy hauler with such good width and depth in the shower this definitely passes Bing! that's a shower test seal of approval sure is and then right over here will we got to pour some toilet this is also not a prime poop position womp womp my i'm just a little too close to that but again so doable for poopable but prime is prime and not yeah. prime is not prime Adam, finish up with this bedroom area. All right, so it'll be quick. King size bed in a toy hauler. Again, I know we're saying in a toy hauler because you usually don't see this yeah. in a toy hauler. So you are going to have a full king size bed, not a camper size king bed. So those six foot six people that want to sleep, six foot two, you're going to be just fine. Second thing, Alliance does this awesome storage compartment here. You can put your self protection items in here. You can put your jewelry in here. Yo, what a great way of saying that. For I YouTube. know, dude. So we had Bam on, and Bam's from Utah, and he's like, "Yeah, you can put your pew pews right and saying the word." I'm like, Brett, Brett, "You can't say that." So I like that. It's like, well, well, in Utah, well, that's well, how we do it. Well, that's what we do in Utah, and I'm like, "Bro, yeah, but this is you too. This ain't Utah." So, so what you say? Self protection, self protection items? devices. I love that. items in here. Items. Could be anything. Could be pepper spray. It could yeah. be whatever. It could be a, a bottle of wine that you don't get crack carried somebody. away. Don't get yeah. carried away. Okay? All right, all right. All right. <laughs> so you can put that in here. Again, if we look, solid wood. This isn't laminate. That's a stain right there. Um, we're going to talk back into the cabinetry here. You're going to have actually. So when you're looking at a cabinet drawer, it's as simple as a finished plywood, unfinished plywood. I don't even know if you ever recognize this. This mm -hmm. is a finished plywood. It cabinet is, yeah. Gray. It's yeah, smooth with means. a lacquer finish. Yep. So it's not, so your normal plywood would look unfinished. I'd have to show it to Hang you. Hang on. Probably like Yep, this. probably yeah. it is going to be this. There you go. Right Unfin here. Right here. Unfinished. No sheen. And if a lot of times the drawers. You can't clean this. It's done. This is just the little things that Alliance does. If you guys spill something, you get baby powder in so there. So a lot of Makeup. times you'll this have this clean. finished, oh. but this it's one. It's not raw. This yeah. is finished. That's a huge upgrade. Very expensive. Very expensive. It's, uh, it's almost double the price. This is true. When you go buy a sheet of plywood finished to unfinished, it's called cabinet grade. So that's a cabinet grade plywood. It means it's, you can stain it, finish it. It's good to go. Love it. Um, all right. We're also going to talk about really quickly what Alliance does here. They actually are going to separate you into like a, a wardrobe or a dresser system, which is really cool for you guys to put in here. It is washer dryer prepped. Most every toy hauler. This is massive. Where's the washer and dryer? In the garage. Yep. And, and what... It, how can you use that when it's in the garage you want to put a side-by-side -side in there yep you can't they put it up front which is huge because you I think actually, they have the option for the garage as well, well that's right the best part they do have the option for the yeah. garage. or yeah I couldn't put a washer and dryer if I had to put it in the garage because yeah. my side-by-side -side won't fit um, you know it's 12 feet long so it's just not gonna fit um, okay massive thing new for the 2024s 23s didn't have it okay the shelf 
talk to me. It's new for the 2024 is now they put the shelf in here and separated the closet. So it's not just one big open cavity. You actually are going to have separate cavities to put separate items in. And you said one last thing for 2024 was? The awesome thermostats. Talk to me. Guys, you have an auto feature. When you guys are camping and it's in Tampa, Florida, and it gets down to 50 degrees at night or 60 degrees at night, this will automatically switch to the heat pumps. It will automatically warm the camper up in the morning. When we get Florida heat, it's going to automatically switch to the cool side and cool your unit down. I love New that. For 24. Now, guys, I want to let everybody know, Adam, thank you so much. Oh, yes, sir. When, if you guys reach out to my internet team or anybody else at General RV and you share the pricing that you see here on the screen, they're going to say, well, we didn't authorize the pricing. This man authorized the pricing on this unit and all 10 units that we're looking at today. Correct. If you guys come to Fort Myers this weekend and you're looking at one of the units that was not in this video, how do they ask for you at the store? Adam, the crazy numbers guy. There you go. <laughs> Adam, thank you so much for having us here at the store. And let's take a look at some awesome more units. It wouldn't be an open house grand opening if we didn't show everybody the all new Coachman Euro Motorhome. Look at the sleek design. Look at the squared off windows. The paint will. This is literally what we saw in Europe when we went to the Dusseldorf RV It is, yep. This is, and that's why they called it the Euro. Go on on the inside. Okay. Now what makes it crazy, Will, is that this is very similar looking to the Thor Vegas. Yes. Thor Vegas definitely did it first, but the difference is the Thor Vegas is made on a Class C chassis. Right. This one's built on the F Series, F53 Series, so it's a real Class A chassis, yes. which is awesome. Right up front here, we got our cockpit area right there. Whoa. Okay, you okay there? Just feel like taking a seat. There you go. Right here, we got a nice little work desk. And Will. Yeah. If anybody ever steals Jen's laptop, we uh -huh. got a whole video file of bloopers that of stuff right. that can't make it in the episode. Mostly me saying the F word. Right. Mostly when we were filming with the other dealership down here in Fort Myers. Right. And you know what? I'm getting deja vu. I hear you. It's hot. We live in Florida. Right. Fort Myers is not Florida. Right. I don't know what happens here, and I don't know how you people it just do it. It traps the heat. It is something different yeah. here. And it's all coming back to me now. I know, and we're only on video four. Right. Love this unit here. Look at the LED lights above. I love these strip lights. By the way... We're filming with the DJI po Osmo Pocket 3. It has never overheated till today. Right. right and it's, it, it's not even the peak of summer. It's still April. Insignia TV. <clears throat> we got a sofa right here. Look at the nice Euro style cabinet. I love here. that. And Will, what price is it if you walk into the store? MSRP's $219,610. They have it down to 149995 And again, there's probably a little bit of a lower yeah. price there. Now, guys, when you see that price and you see maybe a few hundred dollars cheaper, maybe yeah. a thousand bucks, guys, that is the show price. But Adam's doing something even super special for Fort Myers. Yeah. Look at that hood range. That's awesome. I love that. Induction cooktop, convection microwave. This is a GE profile fridge. Again, it, it even this kind of follows that European feel a little bit. Yeah. And I do want to say something. If somebody's been looking at this unit and they have a trade-in yeah. and then they see a price like this and it's just like if it was 159 at the show and you got a really good trade-in number, mm -hmm. you don't still get that trade-in number if you're now paying 149. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the bottom line. It's all about the bottom line. Great storage and look at this. Bam, what is that? It's a dishwasher. Hell yeah. Keep on going, Will. Okay. Back in the corner, you have a nice bathroom here. Little corner bath. What the heck you think you're doing? Yeah, I need to get in there. Go on in there, sir. This is the grand opening of Fort Myers. I don't care if it's 112 degrees. Well, the, the Euro is definitely continuing the European feel. Dang. People in Europe tend to be a little smaller. Dang, and you're a corn-fed American. You're a corn-fed American, aren't you, Will? Yeah, the height actually isn't bad, but it's very, very tight in here, so I'm not going to pass it. It's okay. Right there, we got a nice sink. And unfortunately, I do know that that is not a prime pooping position. Okay. And then right here, Will, we have a very awesome bed. Yep. Now, the bed is on a slide out, so it does fold up. But again, I love this styling. Will, here's I love this motorhome. I would not buy this motorhome, okay? Okay. If they made this into a desk area, not a dinette, but a desk area, uh -huh. 
and they made the uh, middle bath with the two twins. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. I think that's going to be the next one that absolutely kills it. But a lot of people are loving this Euro, and I saw a customer driving on 75 the other day in a Euro, so it was very exciting. Oh, cool. Not as exciting, though, as the next unit we're going to take a look at. Up next is the Salem Hemisphere Model 270 FKS. This is one of my favorite floor plans. No, one of our favorite floor oh, plans. One of our favorite floor plans. Yes. Uh, in a travel trailer, especially in this class. I love the uh, five. The, uh, I love the molded front cap, and this one does not have the windshield, right? No, that is the windshield. Oh, that is a windshield. Is it not? It's so dark. It's so dark. It is a windshield. It is a sorry. windshield. Yes. Um, and I love that. You'll see why on the inside. Outside, there's tons of storage here. Right here. Oh no, I'm sorry. Refrigerator. Outside yeah. fridge. Yes. For some reason, I thought there was a lot of storage. Maybe it's in the back. Um, you have a huge power awning. Two doors to enter and exit, both with solid steps. Which I Good love. deer endurance tires. Yep. Solar on the roof. Two AC units. Will. Outside looks awesome, but it really, it, I'm actually surprised these don't sell as well. I know. And it's not that they don't sell as well. What I mean is just like, it's not always. Like flying off the shelf. Yeah, it's not always the first thing that people say, Salem Hemisphere. Um, especially when it comes to luxury travel trailers. And let me tell you something. No, no, no I'll tell you now. Every, for Forest River, it's Rockwood and Flagstaff. Of course, yeah. Right? Yeah. But like, put some respect on my name. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Salem Hemisphere. Go ahead, Will. This is an awesome kitchen for a travel trailer. One thing that I do like, this is going to be the, one of the more stable parts of the uh, trailer because it's so close to your truck. So having your kitchen in here where you have glasses and dishes and food and all that is very, very nice. Look at all the countertop space. And this is why I love that front love that. shield. Love that. When you're near cooking, doing dishes, you have the best view of the RV. Not only that, it's almost like a panoramic window. It really is. Looking yeah. down, that is awesome. Yeah. Nice dinette here, theater seating, tons of storage in this pantry here as well. Well, how do you not mention the flush floor yes. slide? Flush floor slide. Love that. Love that. You got two ACs. We'll see the second one. Really good entertainment center, especially given you know how much is behind it. TV, sound bar, and uh, fireplace right there. Unfortunately, it is a radius shower. Bathroom sucks, y'all. Yeah. It's okay. That's the one downside with this floor. Plan. It is a prime poop position. The bathroom sucks. This is phenomenal. Yep. Bathroom sucks. Sacrificing a little bit here to get that. In my opinion, you're spending, what, a half hour, maybe an hour a day in here. Jesus, what are you doing in there, Will? Oh, no, I'm saying between shower, <laughs> going to the bathroom, getting okay. ready. This unit's an hourglass. Okay? Mm-hmm. Picture an hourglass. Yep. The bigger the glass, the better it is. Yep. The smaller, the more it sucks. Yep. So look. Yep. Okay. Phenomenal. Sucks. This is amazing back here Phenomenal. too. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. This is a 27 foot travel trailer. Love this king size tilt up bed on a slide out. Where do you spend most of your time? Living room, kitchen. Yep. Bedroom. Yep. Little bit of time. Oh, time! And a um, hourglass. Right, I love that. Sometimes my brain works weird, y'all. Nice laundry hamper, tons of storage. You spend more time in the big part of the hourglass or the little part? Right. Dang, that's awesome. Right over here, we got this. So I'm pretty sure under there is storage as well. Yeah, all, on the outside. All, on the all outside. the way through. That, that's okay. where the big storage okay. is. Okay. Two AC units in here, well, radius roof and everything. And, um... Wow, stackable. Stackable what washer and dryer, dryer prep. That's amazing. Very cool. This bed's on a tilt-up bed, so you can see how much storage is there. Or walk space, I mean. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. Not only that, two entrances, to, to, uh, two, two doors. Two ACs. Both on the campsite, no slide-outs on that side. And let's go, go, go back out front. This, I want people to see this. This is absolutely amazing. It is. I love this, Will. We got to go inside real quick for a second and cool off, but we got five more awesome units to show everybody. Will, we're halfway done with this video, and I really needed to come back inside to cool off some. So I want to take a moment, thank the sponsor of today's episode, Liquefied, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, this is the best toilet tank treatment in the in industry. What makes it different is that it's enzyme and bacteria based and it's our actual company. 
You can get it on our new website, liquefiedrv.com, or you can come to General RV of Fort Myers and buy it on the shelf. Thanks so much, Will. Let's take a quick water break, and then we're gonna take a look at some more motorhomes. All right, up next is the Winnebago Vista 34R. And I love the front of this. You, do you like the headlights and all that, Matt? Yeah, it's a different design look for the Winnebago this year. I can't decide year. if I like it or not. Oh, I like it. I, okay. think, I, think, I think it looks a lot better than what they were doing. This the Vista. I love the full body paint. Full body paint's fantastic. Fiberglass, stainless doors, and listen, it's Winnebago at the end of the day. Right. It's huge, 3,843 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Fantastic. Dang. This is what I'm telling you guys. Nah, nah. You can always get the best price at the show. $249,670. Show price was $159,995. Yeah. Oh, we got Grand the price. Grand opening sale, $159,995. So nine grand. From the show price. And then there might be a, an even lower price. And again, it might be a few hundred bucks, but that's cheaper than this price. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Huge U-shaped dinette TV right here. So nice. A two and a half theater seat seat. King size bed. Well, what more do you want? I hear you. Nice solid surface countertops. Look at this little nook area. I love the little coffee nook. You don't get those in motorhomes yeah, a lot. Yeah, for sure. Right here we do have um, a bathroom, radius shower, toilet. That's not a prime pooping position. It's not? No. Okay. And you can definitely tell that, that the batteries are running low, so we're yeah. going to cut this one a little quick. King size bed in here. Oh, it's not storage. It's This flips up, Will. This drops down, and it makes a booth table. Oh, okay. So Don't you, you can love make that? Like, kind of a desk or something out exactly. of it? Exactly. That's cool. Love that feature. Tons of storage in here, too, with the slide out. Yes. Cool. Absolutely amazing. And again, sorry about this, y'all, but um, the batteries are just running low on this motorhome. And guess what, Will? What? My batteries are running low, too. I hear you. Hey, did we mention how hot it is in Fort Myers? It's very hot. Can I be honest with everybody? What? We're going to remind them for the rest of the video. Okay. We're going on to the next one, which the next one is the Thor Luminate. This one also a beautiful motorhome. The full body paint. Yep. And this one has bunk beds. Oh, nice. BB35. BB for bunk beds. Nice outside TV. Slam ledge doors. Again, gorgeous full body paint. I love it. Well, Will, not only that. Yeah. This has an outside kitchen. Oh, where? A class A Should we go show host? it? Yes. And there's a little duck family over here. I know. We scared them away, though. They went into the, like mangrove looking thing back there look at this outside kitchen i love that a sink that's plumbed through hot point refrigerator and then that's storage so you still have tons of storage phenomenal that's awesome full wall mm. slide out on this unit two and a 22 and a half inch tires so you're yep. gonna get a good ride okay 139.995 again same thing look they had it at the show no, that was the after show party. Oh, okay. Even cheaper. Guys, the time to buy is now in Fort Myers on these stock numbers. F53, desk, workstation, bunk over the cab right here. Really nice looking cabinetry. Good looking windows. They got the dragon scale looking valances. Yep. Or the koi fish looking valances. Doesn't it look like koi fish scales? I think I go with the dragon. Okay, okay. A little more. Nice uh, sofa right here. A dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. We got the Insignia TV. Cooking with contour refrigerator right here. Look at how big and nice this is. That is nice. This is very nice. Fantabulous. Okay. Look at tons of countertop space in here for a motorhome. I love that with bunks. Yeah, for a bunkhouse motorhome and you're getting a pantry. Right. I'm loving this. I'm not loving these keys. They're hurting my... I'm going to hold them. Yeah, they're hurting my thigh. Right over here, these bunk beds. Here's what I love about these bunk beds. You can get this motorhome even if you don't have kids because this flips up out of the way and you can use it for hanging wardrobe and storage nice, area. Nice. I love that. What more do you want? Right over here, nice size shower. Porcelain toilet. I'm sorry, Will. Go stand in that shower. Okay. For, stand in it for America. Okay. Wow. 
This is an awesome shower. I can already. Tell oh my you. God! You are an ugly mess right now. Will, we gotta hurry the heck up. You right, guys see me? What the heck? Tons. No Chick Fil A sauce. <laughs> Tons of head height in here. Really good width and depth. I like this solid shower door and everything. This definitely passes. Bing. One more time. Bing. That's shower test seal of approval. Hold on, let me get out first. You get hot? You get hot? A little bit. Okay. Get on out. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. Very nice. And then over here, we do have a king size bed on top of it all. Nice storage over there. Very spacious, Will. This motorhome is definitely underrated. It is. This unit's kicking butt, taking names. To be on the bigger chassis with the bigger tires, an outside kitchen, full body paint, frameless windows, and all this space, all for one thirty nine nine. This I hear you, guys. Give them a call. Give them a call. And here's what I can promise you guys: the sale starts today, April tenth, goes to the fourteenth. I can only promise whatever price you're seeing till the fourteenth. That's right. Call on the fifteenth. Maybe they will do it. Sixteenth, they might honor it. I promise you this, you call on the 17th, you let you let that the hangover of the weekend go over too long, they won't be able to do it. This motorhome is going to be back to $149.9, right. which again, still phenomenal price, but it might be $159.9. No, no yeah. you know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying, okay? We got what, three more? Yes. Let's do it. Next up, Will, we are taking a look at a Nexus Triumph. It's not a Triumph. It's the Phantom. Right. For those of you who don't know Phantom, Phantom's the sister product of the Triumph, but there must be a dealership down here that sells the Triumph. That's why we got the Phantom. There you go. It doesn't matter if you're looking at the Phantom or the Triumph. They're the same exact thing, except stock number 303528 is this price. Bing. And you can't get no Triumph for that price. You can't even get another Phantom at that price. That is this unit only here in Fort Myers. Okay. Coming on now, frameless windows. Nice power awning with LED lights and this floor plan 30p. And it does have the ASDO for the sidewall. I love that. <clears throat> now it's dark in here, Will. I know, the battery died. Yes, sir. Look at this. We got a, a grand opening sale price of $96,995 for a 30 foot Class C. Check out this. Under 100 grand, that's great. Got this right here. Nice. Okay. Sofa. Dude, the slide out's in. What yeah. the heck's going on, Will? Man, I couldn't even tell that. The What's that noise, though? And it sounds like there's a radio on as well. Oh, that's outside. Oh, okay. Man, you know what? It's okay. You know why? It's 100 degrees. Y'all are going to forgive us. We're going to continue the review. Okay. You guys, in the living room area, I couldn't even tell. I, I couldn't this, actually first either. It's a full wall slide. We got the dinette here, sofa right here, nice TV. Um, and then, here, I got it. Okay. Regular cockpit area, bunk over the cab. Really, really nice. Guys, this is how you access the motorhome with the slide out in, okay? Yeah, somebody must have left the radio on, and it sounds like it's coming from inside, Will. It does. But it's like so faint, I can't even hear it. I love how you can use the bed with the slide out in. You know what I'm saying? Very, very nice. Now, the bathroom's a little hard to get to. Oh, you know what? It's you, huh? It's me. I'm watching TikTok on my phone right now. That's so funny. Because I'm like, dude, what the heck's that noise going on? And then here's the bathroom. That is a toilet on a pedestal. That is not a prime pooping position. You got a nice uh, sink area. Decent sized shower. Will? He left me. I'm right here. Oh, okay. I thought you left me for a second. Nope. I was like, if I got to suffer through the heat, so do you. And you know who else does as well? Who? Marka. That's right. Can Welcome. you give me a drink? Actually, I'll give you. Oh man, I love that. <laughs> nice ever chill freezer as well. And guys, this is Nexus. And let me tell you something. You, one, the DJI picks up the low lighting very well. It does, yeah. Guys, these look so phenomenal. The new white and all that, the white and gray. Let me tell you something. Oh. Nexus has been terrible when it comes to interior colors and decors. They have, truthfully. They came out with five new interiors and decors. So they went from zero out of three to five out of I five. I know. Phenomenal. Breath of fresh air. I absolutely love it. And we love Nexus. And we love this unit. And guess what, Will? What's that? 
We got two more units to show everybody. Guys, may, if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Thank you to everybody who supports the channel and watches this part of the video. This is where, when it gets tough for us. So please, just watch the final two units for us. And you know what? I'll have a very special announcement at the end of this video. Okay. So let's take a look at the final two. The final towable unit, we got one more motorhome to show you after this, is the brake fleet. 2900Z. Now, now, well, here's the problem. Yeah. It's not Brinkley. It's the Brinkley Police. We know other Brinkley dealerships watch our video. And every time we do a show video, we still get flagged because we share sale pricing. I know. They go crazy. And then they make us take the whole video down. Yep. Brinkley does because they're, they're a good manufacturer. Okay. But the Brinkley Police are the ones who tick me off. So I'm not going to share with everybody the show pricing on this. Okay. Call the store. And the reason why I'm not sharing the show pricing is because then we have to take the whole video down. Right. Call the store. Ask for Adam. Ask the salesperson to talk with Adam. If you want to bring lead, this is the weekend to get it. Well, what do we got to show on the outside? Nothing. You know why? Why? Perfection on the outside. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know what a brink lead looks like on the outside, you need to watch our video. And guess what? What? In a week or two. Oh, snap. Oh. See what I did there? I do. Um, in a week or two, we're going to have our final Brinkley video up. Which, no, our final two. We finally got the 3950 toy hauler and the uh, 3400 model Z. Oh, well, what more do you want? Luxury, quality, fit, finish, everything that you want in here. Is beautiful and fantastic you got the seats here i love this i love this yep tv on its elevator with a fireplace huge kitchen will this is the 2900 and it's a huge kitchen i absolutely love it flush floor slides look at this awesome pantry space in here this is phenomenal. Yeah, it is. What I love the most about Brinkley's, I'm going to sound like a broken record, and Will never gets to talk about it. Will, what do I love the most about Brinkley's? Oh, yeah. This desk dinette setup here, those are stuck there, but you can just slide this over. You can slide it out, all the way far out. You can see right here at the different positions. That's how it's in right now. That's how I just showed you. You can slide it over. And four, have four people can people. sit there. You can have a two-person desk. It, it just this is the best thing out of it. It sure is. Here. Go up, and you know what? For a fifth wheel this small, this is also one of the best bathrooms, I believe. It is. Or the shower, shower yeah. anyway. They still got an encore shower in here. One piece fiberglass surround. Look at that. You look like a little kid in that shower. Yep. Really good width and depth. Good head height in here. This is an awesome shower. Bing! Well, we're overheating here. Okay. So we're going to wrap it up. This is not a prime poop position. My my arm hits this. And then let's look at this bed. No, sl no bed slide out here. You do have the wardrobe slide out. Still plenty of space north to south to 2900. It's going to be a little bit smaller and a little bit cheaper than the 3100. And again, if you want to Brinkley, I'm not going to share with you guys the sale pricing. But if you reach out to Adam and the team... You guys will get the absolute best price in America. That's right. Well, we got one more motorhome, and we saved it for the hot topic of the week, and that is the all-new Eclipse. There you go. Grand opening. Well, we got the final unit. Okay. Check it out. This is the Holiday Rambler Eclipse. 32S, and we're going to celebrate the eclipse that just happened by finally showcasing this unit. Okay. This is an awesome unit, Will. Look up front here. This unit was also at a show, and it was $139,995. Guys, it's $129,995 for the grand opening. I'm telling you now, shows happen every year. Show happens every quarter. Shows happen every month. Grand openings happen when they open. Once. Dinette that drops down to make a bed theater seats right here storage above there and i love how that here. can be another seat it looks like three sofas or three you i know. personally wouldn't do it like that but yeah it does look like that. yeah well there'll be another eclipse before there's another grand opening of fort myers i hear you know what i'm saying 
Nice TV right there. Solid surface countertops in this kitchen. Did I forget to mention there's two full bathrooms in here? Nice. How you doing? Doing good. Unfortunately, this shower is just all the way around too small. Okay. It's okay, Well, There's two showers. Okay. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's right. Again, if somebody... My hair's a mess, so... Well, everything's a mess today, Will. I hear you. If, if, if you're trying to get the smallest motor home in the world that has two full bathrooms, this is it. Right here, you do have tons of wardrobe space. Not only that, king-size bed. Not only that, opposing slide-outs right. in the bedroom I area. love that, too. That's what's super important. And, well, the first shower didn't pass, but how does look this one that. look? Looks so much better. This is a nice 30 by 32 oh, shower. Right. <sighs> All right. So much more width and depth. Pretty good head height. This definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. Sure is. And to wrap it on up, Will, I am chilling here. Right here on the toilet. This could pass, but it's not. It is a little tight for me. But again, overall, to get a motorhome like this, with all of these features jam-packed in here, for an amazing sale price of $129,995, I must remember everybody, it is April 10th through the 14th. Do not click the link in the bio and fill out Matt's cash. Call the Fort Myers store this weekend if you see any of these units that you want. If you need them transferred to Michigan or Virginia or Pennsylvania, if you need them transferred, we might be able to get them transferred for you. But listen, to save 10 grand to fly down to Fort Myers, Florida, guys, it's totally worth it. And again, if you guys bought one of these units or you have a deposit on it, you cannot get this new sale price with your current trade-in. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This is, and this isn't on the 2020, let me rephrase. Every unit you saw, this is not the sale price for the Eclipse 32S. This the sale price that you see for stock number 297685. That's right. This weekend only. Ocala's not having a grand opening. It's Fort Myers. Join us tomorrow when we come to you from Orlando. And then join us Friday as we come to you from Fort Pierce, Florida. And thank you guys so much. Thank you to Adam running the ship. And here's what I promise you guys. If this grand opening sale this weekend goes phenomenal, when we open up the North Carolina store with Adam, we will have a grand opening week. That's so right. Make sure you guys smash this video, share it with your friends, call the store, and let's see some traffic. And here's the final special announcement. If you guys click the link in the bio and go to liquefiedrv.com backslash free bottle. We are in about a week or two, we're launching a, a promotion where we're giving away 10,000 free bottles of liquefied. All you got to do is pay the $5.99 shipping, right? Yep. Anybody who stayed to this part of the video, you heard about it first. And let me tell you something, 10,000 bottles seems like a lot. They will go so incredibly fast. They will. So go to our website, liquefiedrv.com backslash free bottle. We just appreciate the support from everybody. And again, we're literally losing money on every transaction. We're just only charging you the $5.99 for shipping. Guys, well, what do you want to say to America? Guys, thank you all so much for watching and bearing through us with the heat. Um, really more our complaints about the heat. Right. <laughs> um, they're Make watching sure. from their air conditioning, so right. they're fine. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us, know, let us know what you guys think of these units. Make sure to stop by uh, any of the grand openings but um, especially here if you want to see these units and you're in the area. Perfect. And stop by and visit us Friday at the store. Yes. We will be there. Yep. Friday will be for Pierce. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, Fort Pierce. Cool. Thanks so much. See you next time. See ya.